What is up guys, Lageman here, hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I am playing Nightmares, a uh, little like, um, extra thing that you get after being the regular campaign. Regular campaign, um, like right here, see, you know. Um, this campaign, multiplayer, zombies, and nightmares. Um, I'm pretty excited to play, play this. Um, it may not sound like it, but it's like freaking uh, 2.30 in the morning, so... Um, yeah, let's just go. Um, yeah, let's just go. So, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this. I am Dolos, mistress of deception and All that remains is your you sacrifice. You are more powerful than he can Humanity imagine. has outstayed its welcome. The dead shall inherit the earth. Listen to the sound of my voice. Can you hear me? Who's there? I can't see you. My name is Dr. Salim. We've met before. Dr. Salim, where am I? You have fallen between the world of the living and the dead. The void. I'm dead? I can't be dead. Deimos, I have to stop him. And you still can. I'll explain as we go. For now, you must trust me. Think back to coalescence. The start of your journey. The beginning. The beginning. So yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to play this. Um... I did this, I did, um, start this a little, start for this a little bit, um, like before. It started at Coalescence Singapore in 2070, ten years after the disaster, after virus 6115 began its spread, after the dead. We'd lost comms with John Taylor's squad, another undead extermination team. Dead killers, we were called. With our cybernetic augmentations, we were impossible to infect. We were trained to terminate the undead. Hendrix was on edge. We were in a quarantine zone, one of many walled-off areas separating humanity from the undead, built to keep the virus and the infected behind their wall away from the rest of us. The undead weren't our only concern. The 54 Immortals, a local combine who remained in the containment zone, were aware of Taylor's activity. This place was the epicenter of the epidemic. The 2060 coalescence disaster created the cursed world we lived in today. Any activity at this site would set off alarm bells. Either way, our troubles were only just beginning. But yeah, um, this, welcome to um, Nightmares. Like the zombies scared the crap out of me. This is like level one, you know. I did like as as I was saying before. I did start this. Uh, like slightly um before recording this. Um but my internet was really crappy. Um and the stream was like crap. Um I only got like a couple of minutes into it for like I sort of crapping out and stuff. Um so hopefully it's good now. Oh we can just grab this? Okay, cool. But I don't remember picking a girl, um but because, I don't know. But it doesn't matter, you know. I'm still playing this. The lines are probably the same for girls in Magic Box. You mean the Mystery Box? Kids are crazy. Don't really like the Man of War. Especially with this freaking Thomas side on. Kind of crap in me, will ya? I hate this thing. We should have known that the ASP would be very dead. If we were gonna bring it down, we'd need to disable his shield and find a rocket launcher. Hendrix had a bad feeling about this. He wasn't the only one. I knew we shouldn't be there.
Okay, I need to find another gun. Another mystery box work? No. Oh. Okay, cool. Okay, it's down. It's been actually been a while since I actually did like a series of like a, or like a playthrough of a game, so it might be kind of quiet or whatever. It's weird that Hendrix isn't talking at all. Um, but I guess it's just so they can reuse this part. But you know, that doesn't really matter. Enhance yourself for a better tomorrow. They've been the forefront of technology, always wanting to improve the individual, the future of you. What happened? What went wrong? A coalescence disaster happened. Virus 6115 spread throughout Singapore and strains popped up all over the world. Governments built these quarantine zones to house the undead. A way for the populace to ignore what was happening. Ten years on, and it had worked. We put it out of mind. Ignorance was bliss. What was so special about this operation? It was supposed to be by the books. Five years after our cybernetic augmentations, Hendrix and I were a well-oiled machine. Quarantine sweeps, recon, search and rescue. It's just what dead killers do. But we'd never been sent after one of our own before. John Taylor's systems had gone quiet. With our direct neural interface, we're hardwired into Winslow Accord servers. Observation knew if you were dead or alive. For Taylor to be neither, that was unusual. We located an EMF source and uploaded it to Central. It was a 54 immortal audio log detailing unusual activity coming from the server room at the lowest level of the building. It couldn't have been more than a week old. Probably why Taylor's team had been sent to investigate. Hendrix activated a recon drone to scan for life. We picked up a signal coming from far below. As we stood there in the atrium, I felt like Alice. And we were about to jump down the rabbit hole. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I do like that they uh, added a zombie campaign. Although, a rather, I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, too bad that they, like, actually just reused almost everything. But, you know, it's still pretty awesome so far. Our drone picked up activity ahead. We should have known we weren't alone down here. Zombies. Oh, what the heck was that? Instico, I guess. Oh, he's got a crap into me, Hendrix. Do not know if they use the same uh, soundtrack though. Oh shit. It is a lot easier since they don't shoot back.
Good music, at least. Don't know what the heck those are. My screen's a little red. When man fled the virus, they left behind thousands of active robots. Machinery abandoned with one directive. Kill the dead. Years later, they're still killing. But with decrepit programming, somehow humans have been added to their kill list. Indistinguishable from our brainless counterparts. The strange behavior was observed in multiple quarantine zones. Another nuisance for us to deal with while on recon. We moved on. This is going to be fun.